So when reviewing statistical analysis, we want to know the basics first. So let's review them. A null hypothesis, which is abbreviated HO, states that there is no difference or association between the two groups or your hypothesis. The alternative hypothesis, HA, means there is a presence of correlation between the two groups. And for the alternative hypothesis, you have two types of error. Type 1 error, which is a false rejection of the null. You found a correlation, but it's not real. And type 2 error, which is noted as beta, is a false acceptance of the null. And this is basically means you missed a correlation that actually exists. So type 1, you found a correlation, but because of bias or the study, you know, you could have came to that conclusion, but in reality, it's not real. While the type 2 error is you said that there is no correlation between the two groups, but in actuality, there is a correlation. P-value, which is usually noted as 5%. P-value is the chance of making a type 1 error is less than 5%. If it is less than 5%, then that means the study is statistical significant. And just to clarify, statistical significance does not mean clinical significance. Statistical significance here, we're just using numbers to give us an output. While clinical significance, we could see the clinical effects on a medication or anything else. So just don't get that confused between the two where on the exam, they could give you several options and it could be statistically significant, but that that does not mean the answer also includes clinical significance as well. Moving on to power. Power, the equation of power is power equals one minus beta. Power is the likelihood of not making a type two error. Confidence interval. A 95% confidence interval is the interval or range that will include the true mean of population. 95 out of 100 times. A relative risk of less than 1 means treatment reduces the event rate compared to control. A relative risk more than 1 means treatment increases the event rate compared to the control. While a relative risk of 1 means there is no difference in the two groups. RRR with a 95% confidence interval, which again, the calculation is RRR equals one minus relative risk. If RRR with a positive 95% confidence interval range is more than zero, then you reduced the risk. If RRR with a negative 95% confidence interval is less than zero, then you increase the risk. And if RRR crosses the zero, that means there is no conclusion. And you'll see a little more of what I'm talking about here in 2A and 2B and so forth. Odds ratio with a 95% confidence interval. If the odds ratio is more than one, that means the that increases the likelihood. If it is less than one, then that means it decreases the likelihood. And if the odds ratio includes one, that that means there is no conclusion. So I know that was a lot. So let's do a quick recap of all three. So a 95% confidence interval range for RR that does not cross one means statistical significant. A 95% confidence interval range for RRR that does not cross zero means it is statistically significant. And lastly, a 95% confidence interval range for OR that does not cross 1 means the study is statistically significant. Now let's review some miscellaneous information and terms. Incidence is the number of individuals who develop a disease. Prevalence is the number of individuals who have the disease. Case report slash case series, reporting a rare occurrence of a disease or rare side effect. Survival analysis provides time of the course of treatment effects. Non-inferiority trials determine if the new treatment is no worse or as good as the standard treatment.